Today we're doing a full day of eating. This is so freaking good. That's kind of what makes a balanced meal. Mm. I'm freaking hungry. This is what I wanted. It's like soft serve ice cream. I know I was talking crap on my tuna salads earlier, but this is what I've been taking honestly since coming home from Hawaii. I'm about to go catch sunset. I'm gonna take my dessert on the road. Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a full day of eating or what I eat in a day because I've realized I have not shown you guys like any sort of like meal inspiration or nutrition, anything, nutrition content on here, Instagram or TikTok in a wicked long time I feel like. So we're gonna do that today and I want this video to serve as nothing more than just some meal inspiration, meal ideas, motivation to fuel your body and just to kind of show you guys the things that I've been eating and kind of the proportions of the things I've been eating in terms of like my protein percentage in my diet because I do tend to eat pretty high protein. I always aim to eat whole foods as often as I can. That's honestly what makes me feel the best. And it's usually a lot of my meals have sweet things involved as well because I have a major sweet tooth. So I also have oil in my hair again, disclaimer, in case you're like, sister, are you gonna wash your hair? I am going to today. So here's also the thing. When I've been thinking about, oh, like next time you do a full day of eating or whatever on YouTube, like it should be a day when you're like eating something different. Like every meal has to be something different. And because I'm just gonna like let the cat out of the bag, I'm definitely gonna have my normal eggs and oatmeal. But because I feel so hungry today, and that is like the big, that is the meal that really satiates me when I'm really hungry in the morning. But honestly, since being home, I've really been changing up what I've been eating. Side note, I honestly feel like I have been adding a lot of diversity in my diet a little bit. Like my meals have been different and I've been loving what I've been eating. So I'm excited to show you guys those things. But other days I've had like smoothies for breakfast. I've done protein pancakes the past few weeks. I've done yogurt bowls. So, but usually like those are when I'm like not that hungry or when we're out of eggs. But yes, those are those are kind of my, my breakfast roster rotation right now. It's either eggs and oatmeal, protein pancakes, yogurt yogurt bowls or smoothies okay here's the thing about me especially in the summer I need a fruit appetizer before my breakfast I just I can't help it and especially when there's watermelon in the house like this needs to be the first thing I put in my body oh also that reminds me where is it it's up in my room but I've already drank in a full 40 ounce water bottle. I do that like first thing in the morning like as I'm kind of doing my morning routine, putzing around and I just fill it up the night before so it's ready to go. It's the best thing ever and it like really wakes me up and just makes me feel so good. And just like hydrates me before I put anything in my mouth. Mm. This watermelon is so good you guys. It's like perfectly sweet, not pilly. I just cooked up my turkey bacon in a pan with olive oil and now here's how I do my egg situation. So I usually do one full egg and one egg white scramble it and then I make one egg over easy like on its own. So while that egg is cooking is when I usually make my oatmeal. And if you're in the place to do so, I definitely recommend buying organic oats. That's something I made the switch to do because usually it's not something that you think to buy organic like fruits and vegetables, but this is just another crop that can be heavily sprayed with pesticides and things like that. Oats in your bowl. Then big ingredient is ground cinnamon. And I'm gonna, I usually actually don't do this, but I'm doing a pinch of sea salt just because, well, Himalayan salt. And then I just put some water in it and I fill it like pretty high till all the oats are covered. And then I put it in the microwave for like a minute. I think I might've put too much water in that. I don't let it stay for too long because I like for it to be really runny. And then this stuff on your eggs is the best thing ever. So I put it everywhere. So good. Okay, this actually turned out like perfect. So it's gonna look like this when you take it out and then you're gonna wanna mix her up. Oh wait, this is literally perfect consistency. Also, these are quick oats. That's why they're able to cook in one minute. So I'm a topping girly. So this is the lowdown. I love chocolate. It's no secret. So 
Dark chocolate chips are usually my MO, but when we were out of this, I was actually just mixing in some 100% cacao, and this is actually great. It made it taste chocolatey, so if you want more of like a milder chocolate, this is such a good idea to, I would only mix in like half of a teaspoon, and then peanut butter or nut butter, any nut butter of your choice. I've been switching to peanut butter just because it's been easier for me to find with just cleaner ingredients, and then of course, fruit. If you're not putting fruit on your oatmeal, I don't know how you eat it because it's so pasty, and I don't have fruit on there to like break up the consistency i'm like and i can't do it so blueberries are great and strawberries are what i'm going to do today i also will sometimes do banana and then some ground flaxseed ground is important to get when you're getting flaxseed just because it's easier for your body to actually absorb all those nutrients so these are great for omega threes so this is what i'm having for breck and usually when i'm making any sort of meal the main formula that i always use is some sort of protein source some sort of healthy fat some sort of carb and or fruit and vegetables so protein in our eggs in the egg whites and in the bacon the fats are in the yolk of the eggs a little bit in the turkey bacon and in our nut butter and even a little bit in our dark chocolate and then our carbs are mainly coming from the oats and the berries and then also flax seeds are also a healthy fat as well so that's kind of what makes a balanced meal and this is what helps keep me satiated and helps with that satiety factor over the long haul and another thing that i want to say is I'm very particular with like the first things that I put in my body to start the day because I just feel like it's so transformative and sets the tone for the whole day. Kind of like how I'm so passionate about a morning routine. And so that's why I'm really big on having water first thing in the morning because that really neutralizes your palate and sets your day up for that and reminds you to stay hydrated throughout the whole day. And kind of also with it, I try not to have any junk. I use that term lightly, but I try to have like a whole food be the first piece of food that I'm putting in my mouth. And we're finished and I kind of like still could like eat a little snickety snaggity, but we're like, it's fine. Surprise, surprise, I got sucked into doing some work things. <laughs> so now it's later in the afternoon and I still wanna walk, but I'm a little bit hungry and snacky. So I'm gonna have like a lighter snack meal situation then probably eat again in a couple of hours. Let me tell you something, you guys. I have turned into a yogurt galley girly sister. So basically, I just have been getting like organic, plain, non-fat Greek yogurt, and I just, I'm living for it because I can make it so sweet. It's so high in protein. I love like the texture. I love having an excuse to put granola on anything these days, and it gives me like any sort of fruit bowl, acai smoothie bowl vibe, and I love it. Like in one serving, there's 16 grams of protein, which is amazing, and I just have been like... I just feel like all I have for lunch is like tuna salad. So like I love being able to have this as an option. This is gonna be my little snack before my walk. This is so freaking good. It, it's just so satisfying to me. I love the crunch and the creaminess. It's super sweet, but then I also love like a little bit of savory from the peanut butter. It's just so freaking good. And then also this is my second water bottle of the day that I'm almost finished with. And continuing with our little meal breakdown, we have our protein and a little bit of carbs in the Greek yogurt. We have our healthy fats in the coconut, the chia seeds, and the peanut butter. And then we also have the carbs in the granola, the dates, and the strawberries. But then also we have some micronutrients and fruits from the dates and the strawberries as well. And I'm sure there's also probably a little bit of fat in the granola as well because of the nuts. And there we have it, a balanced meal. Also, this is my first time trying the Purely Elizabeth Granola. I got this at Whole Foods. It's the maple almond butter flavor. I feel like I've been missing out. This is so good. And the ingredients are so good. I wonder if I can recreate that and make it on my own, but I feel like that made me ambitious. I just went for my walk and literally didn't get any b-roll clips because I was so consumed because I was doing more work on my phone. But I just walked for so long. 
I got 10,000 steps like in that same one go and that was from my phone which my phone steps are always less because I'm like walking around the house obviously without carrying my phone it's just not as accurate as an Apple watch which randomly you guys buy an Apple watch just like completely broke like I put it on for the first time in like months and months and months and months and months and like literally the face of the watch just like fell off like the uni was like nah so I was like I I say less well I was gone for like an hour and a half potentially two hours I don't know it's already four o'clock so we're gonna make listen how do I feel about this what should we do I've been really like okay I want some sort of smoothie let's start there but I don't know if I want I kind of just want like a thick drinkable smoothie but I've been like really trying to master acai bowls and I like kind of want to give it another go because every time it's like just kind of fruit soup but I don't feel like kind of cutting up all the toppings and putting up like it, I kind of already had that with like the yogurt bowl okay I'm decided I'm gonna do a smoothie guys when I have fruit in the house, every time before I eat, I'll just pick and pick and pick. All right, how many times do I say all right? Something about me, I always will say all right and then okay and or, and it like alludes to that I'm gonna like say something after and I, I never have anything else to say after. That's some more. Okay, so we're starting with our water and some ice. And then I've been using some sea moss. This brand, Herbal Vineyard, sent this to me, but I really have genuinely been loving this, not sponsored. But sea moss has 92 of the 102 essential minerals that our body needs. So it's just really great for like giving your body the nutrients it needs, but also like detoxification, reducing inflammation, all that good stuff. So I'll just add like a tablespoon into my smoothies. I really am having FOMO on acai right now. I dumped out a little water and hope to make it thicker because I'm so indecisive, I'm just gonna do a thick smoothie. <laughs> I'm gonna add some frozen berries. Then I have this acai like superfood packet. Honestly, they're not as good as a normal acai packet, so I don't recommend it. We're gonna add banana. For supplements, I'm adding the OxyGlow Marine Collagen from EHP Labs, you guys already know, which I barely have any left. We're gonna add some of the blessed protein in the salted caramel flavor. It really does taste spot on like salted caramel, so. One scoop is 23 grams of protein. I did like a scoop and a quarter. I'm gonna add a little bit of cacao powder because this should make it chocolatey. I forgot rice cauliflower. I wanted it's like soft serve ice cream it's not like thick like acai but it's not like drinkable really you can drink it but like do you know what I mean guys cocoa powder has kind of changed my life or cacao powder mm. okay wait so many things are running through my mind right now first thing I've been doing it all wrong I always thought since I had one of these blenders like you know what I mean you like flip it over and like put it on the blender that I should put the powder in first at the bottom and then my frozen fruit on top because it's like closest to the little spinner but then the spinner i mean the blade but then the powder would always kind of get stuck down here but so now i did it reverse this time i did the fruit first and then put the powders at the end and like all the heavy fruit would kind of fall down when i would flip it over and so then like everything actually blended and like none of the powder got stuck on the bottom mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this whole entire video has been me leaning over the counter the other thing that i wanted to tell you is that the ehp labs summer sale it's still live only for by the time you guys are seeing this video only for like a few more days because it ends like on the 4th of July But there's up to 60% off savings and deals with use my code liftfit 10 I love the protein powders love their Oxy shred. That's probably my most used product from them. Their greens are amazing the best tasting ones on the market I use their blessed hair booster, which I'm actually about to take to help with my hair health love their collagen as well that I always need to take with something flavored though. Like I used to put collagen in my tea, but that it's, you can still taste it. So it has to be with something else that's like actually a flavored drink. But so yeah, those are like all my top supplements that I use by them. Code LIFFIT10 to save and support. So this is what I've been taking honestly since coming home from Hawaii. Magnesium, 400 milligrams. I, I mean, no, 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 no. 250 milligrams, but I'm not a doctor or dietitian, so don't take my word on the dosage. But magnesium is like an important component to like all major functions in the body, and so many people are deficient in it. So like that's definitely worth looking into. Then I take maca root to help naturally balance out my hormones because you guys know it's always a 
journey over here with my hormone imbalances, which I'm gonna do another video soon about my hormones because I have an update and I have some tea. And then I'm taking, this is what I was referencing before, the Blessed Booster. So it is for healthy hair. They also have a skin one as well. Um, but this has kelp, silica, zinc, and some B vitamins like biotin and B12 to help with your hair health. Let's see. It was just kind of gross. I think a little bit. Oh well. This is grossing me out. It worked. Also, I know my nails are gross, but look at how like long and healthy and like strong my nails are. I'm telling you, you guys, it's that freaking collagen. I just took off my nail polish, so they're like kind of gross, but you get the point. Okay, so it's dinner time. I'm freaking hungry and I know I was talking crap on my tuna salads earlier, but we're gonna have a tuna salad for dinner because hey, I don't really have anything else here or like any other meat defrosted and I just genuinely want a salad. And I feel like I've been kind of slacking on my greens and just vegetables lately. I just have been eating so much fruit. <laughs> so we're gonna make a tuna salad. So the key is to make sure you get white albacore tuna. That's how it won't get that like gross, mushy texture. the meal. Protein is coming from the tuna, the carbs are coming from the corn, and the basmati rice, and then also just like a little bit, just basically in all the vegetables themselves. Then for the healthy fats, we have the olive oil and the avocado, and then the micronutrients are obviously all of the veggies, the lettuce, the carrots, the corn, the red onion, the tomato. catch sunset with my brother so you guys just look so you guys know my obsession with dates i'm going to take my dessert on the road so i think i'm going to have two of these and then this i finally have tried this hue chocolate and this is a vanilla crunch dark chocolate it is so good so i'm essentially going to pit these and just put cut this up and put it like in the cracks ew that sounded so gross slice open my date Take out the pit and then put my chocolate in the middle. You can also add nut butter, but I've just kind of been doing this lately and it's super good. And then I'm also gonna put some dried mango. All right, there we go. That's my little dessert container to go. Filled up the water bottle again and we're good to go. Some 
uh, new moon manifestations via journaling and scripting because it's a new moon today. So there's that. New moon in Cancer as well, and I'm a Cancer. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been super peaceful up here. I love listening to the birds. The sunset was was I. My brother thought it was gonna be better. He was talking a big game. I thought it was gonna be questionable and it was questionable, but nevertheless, it's so beautiful up here. Um, but I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys got some meal inspo and just motivation to fuel your body. Don't forget to shop the EHP Lab sale as well. I have them linked down below as well as my code LIFFIT10 for to save up to 60% off. Their sale ends at the, on the 4th of July, so there's only a few days left. If you do choose to support me and thank me at checkout, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Welcome to the after hours of the vlog. You're we're, welcome. We're back from the sunset mission. Which was it's, a banger, by the way. We it was off after the camera. Okay, so. do it after, oh, out of 10. Three, two, one, ten. four. Okay, he's eating like, like Yeah, like I heard you chirp me on your vlog. Yeah, like. Like Luke thought it was gonna be different. Like. <laughs> Luke's just now making dinner and then it like made me kind of snacky and I was still like kind of hungry. So I'm having half of an apple and nut butter, peanut butter. And I also had a slice of watermelon.